Hi there, it's Richard Napier from On Demand Education. Last time out, we saw how Buzzy and Enterprise uses standard workflow processes to integrate with Siebel. This time out, we're going to use the Buzzy and Social API to demonstrate how Siebel workflow configurators can extract whatever data they need for customizing their business processes. The prerequisites are simple. You need a Buzzient API key, access to the free console, and we need to perform at least one test call to be able to generate an XSD, which we will now demonstrate. So here I am in the free Buzzient API console. Of course, depending on what you're going to try and do, select the relevant method, add a custom token with your API key, Add the necessary header to ensure that the output is in XML format. And don't forget, for the purposes of our query, we're going to add a post ID so that we limit the size of the XML. The output is displayed immediately, and I can simply copy and paste the XML output into a file, and then use my favorite XSD generator to generate the schema file. Once you've generated your XSD file, you are ready to create a workflow process with only two steps, which will easily be able to access the different properties of the Buzzy and Post data. In Siebel Tools, I'm going to launch the integration object wizard. I'm going to select a project. I'm going to select the EAI XSD generator. And I'm going to make sure that I select my XSD file, choose the response as the root, and give it a unique name. Observe how the structure is now available in the hierarchy, and I can finish this off. Don't forget to publish or compile this integration object. Now we're pretty much ready to create our standard workflow using an EAI HTTP adapter with the send and receive method, and we will receive the XML data into a binary process property. And in our second step, just for demonstration, we will convert our XML document into an integration object hierarchy and show that all of the different properties of the post are now available to our workflow process and, by definition, to Siebel Enterprise. Once inside Siebel Workflow Process Designer, my workflow process needs only have two steps and two process properties, one of type a binary to hold the XML and one of type integration object for my integration object instance. The first step will be the EAI HTTP transport, send and receive. The output will be loaded into my process property. The second step will be the EAI XML converter, which will take the same XML and transform it into an integration object instance using my integration object, which I compiled earlier. I think the time has come for a simulation. Running the simulation, let's make this a little bit bigger. Executing the first step will populate the Buzzient XML binary process property. There it is. Executing the second step will populate my integration object instance and in here you will be able to see all the different data which you can use for your own customized business processes such as the timestamp, the sentiment, the number of followers, the URL of the image, all sorts of valuable and, and resonant data for actionable intelligence inside your Siebel Enterprise application. If you're interested in learning more about the Siebel and Buzzient integration, hop over to www.buzzient.com. Next time out, we'll see how the old friend Roset Transformation Toolkit can be of assistance when integrating with Buzzient Social API. Have fun, see you next time.